Hi everybody, in this brief video we're going to take a look at an aspect of the save command that many folks may not know about. Um, primarily because the way that we save is, is done through the interface fairly easily by clicking on the save icon. However, doing that performs actually a queue save. The other way that people will save is through the, uh, the save as function, um, which would save a, the model in its current state but with a new file name. Well, what if I would like to stay in the file that I'm working with, but at the same time I would like to capture various points and set those off to the side that I could either go back to them and look at them later so that maybe I can look at the progression of how the work that I did had maybe altered over time. Um, but once again, I, I don't want to uh, don't want to save it as a, uh, I don't want to leave this file, I'd like to be able to maintain it. We can leverage an aspect of the save command to do that so that we can capture this this uh, progression as we go through. So let's take a quick look at what I'm talking about. I'm in my file geometry, it's been saved. Maybe I'm just for the sake of having something to do, I'm going to start to group some of the geometry together for these lots. We'll start by uh, maybe exploding and uh, making a new new outline for, uh, for these. We'll do that with uh, the boundary command. We'll uh, pick a point here within my lots we've got a new area so now i've performed some edits on this file and i would like to capture that so that i could once again you know have some some copy of the progression as i've gone through what i can do is i can type the command save in so if i type in save and hit enter it'll give me the opportunity to give the file a name and then maybe i could say geometry and we'll call it uh 01 i could give it a date based on time whatever the case may be We'll say save, so it's captured that file, but it's allowed me to stay in here where I can continue to work. So maybe I'd like to do something similar with some of these other files. We'll group some of these, uh, maybe erase some of the geometry from there. We'll use the boundary command again. I don't need island detection. We'll pick inside there. I've now continued to work on my file for a period of time. Once I'm... Uh, I'd like to capture that as maybe the next state or the next point in the progression. We'll type in the save command again. We'll say that uh, this is geometry 2. We'll save that off and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll do a third one here. Now what's important to note is what I'm doing I could not do with the other commands that folks use most typically. The reason being is if we were to use a Q save, it would just keep capturing the current state of the file that we're in, which is everything. Uh, or if I were to do save as, it would take what I have at this point and then save it as a, a new file uh, without allowing me to stay in here. In this case, geometry is my main file. That's where I'd like to be doing my work. Uh, so this, by typing the command save in, allows me to do that, continue to work in here, but then still be able to write these off as separate files to monitor my progression. So I'm going to type in save. We'll do the next one here as geometry 3. All right, so when complete, I have the main file, that uh, my model, that I continue to work in and make changes. At the same time, I have the option that I could go back and open any of these files to see the progression of how I worked within my model. Um, once again, I'm looking at this with just lots, but this could be you're laying out geometry to uh, organize a site plan, looking at areas for detention, uh, maybe you're subdividing a parcel, whatever the case may be, instead of being in a state where you have it uh, when you're done using a standard save, what you had when you started and then ultimately what you had when you finished, by typing the command save in, I could save these uh, different variations of my model off at different points along that linear progression as I worked on it that I can go back and review it later and if need be maybe I took a, a wrong path I maybe shouldn't have done what uh, we did from this point forward I could always roll back and open up uh, drawing number two and you know either grab information from that file or to continue to work from that point uh, point in the uh, in the past so just wanted to uh, show you that as an option. Like I said, most folks don't think of it. They immediately go to the icon or save as, but there are other aspects of the save command that can help us as we work on our projects. Hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.